Looks good. Really good. Oh yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one, Steve. Good one? Yeah. There we go. Yeah, baby. back gang to another episode tank are you are you pouting because we can't play are you pouting are you pouty girl she's pouty she wants to play we gotta edit these videos they're building up and real life happens i've we've had hail damage and that's that's what our other business is is we fix dents on cars without painting them <clears throat> and it's a little busy so is what it is. I'm, I've got some really good content already captured. I just got to pound it out. So, um, you know, what do you say? I've reviewed this footage over and over and over. And at first I'm just furiously mad that this guy, you know, can't even be waved off. We even waved and tried to get him to drive around the spot. And I kind of defended it by putting the back end. Well, this guy just buzzes right by us. I mean, I get it, it's a free country, but come on. Could have gone around. If he'd gone around the outside, we wouldn't have said a word. <clears throat> you know, I don't think they really got, maybe they did, because when they, there was one adult and two, I'm gonna say teenagers, and when they came by, the teenagers were looking away. I know they felt awkward. They knew they were in an awkward position but I didn't notice it when I'm editing right at first, but that guy has the life jacket pretty tight around him and the other kids don't have theirs on. And I'm not sure exactly <clears throat> what that says other than this is only like a nine or 10, maybe 11 foot boat. So maybe the guy's scared. And if you're scared, you're gonna make some different decisions. So we're gonna cut him a break. <clears throat> We really did and didn't do anything about it, but I, I feel like we shouldn't even have got mad. Maybe that's how it should have gone down. But uh, either way, we get over it quick. And I'm not gonna, lie. I'm gonna tell you a little story real quick about why that shouldn't bother you. Because one of my very good buddies that I won't name, who is an all-American, he, I once watched him whip our butt by fishing a brush pile and then before he left, he drove around it on pad, not, not wickedly on pad, but on pad, sat back down and caught another one <clears throat> out of that same pile. I mean, it was, I mean, so, I, you know, it was hard for me to process. Even to this day, it's hard for me to process that that boat action might rearrange the fish that were in the brush pile. They wouldn't scatter if you didn't drive over them directly, but you might rearrange it. And then introducing your bait into that rearranged environment might make another fish go bunk. And uh, in fact, it did work. So right after this guy drives over, I have this, I'm like, ah, cast. And, I don't think it's two minutes, minute and a half. The bubble trail isn't even gone and I'm, so it is what it is. Control your anger. It's this winning and losing these tournaments. They're between your ears. Most of the mechanics are already in your hands and the baits are already in your box. It's about when to do what and so anger isn't gonna make for good decisions. So is what it is. Learn from your mistakes. Sorry I tried to splash you or even thought about swamping you because you were in a little bitty canoe of a boat. <clears throat> so, we were probably wrong getting angry. Is what it is, I'm human. Hopefully this is your kind of thing. Smash the like button, consider subscribing. Let's go derby fishing. Glad to see you, Greg. Were you a little worried? Well, Don't we're you mind a hit in here or something? David McCormick. Yeah. And I got Steve Van Zandt. Let me 
There's 200. 200. And I'm both. 12. Oh, uh, well, two 100s and we got 30. Looks good. Really good. How far out? I don't know. Oh yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one, Steve. Ski. Hell yes, Steve-o. <laughs> right up against those. Yeah. Put a tag on him. to walk it when you're on the end of it. A lot of bait fishing I was. Little buddy. Sorry about your eye. Ah! Hooks is still sharp. Hooks is still sharp. Good one? He's a keeper. <clears throat> Had him good, didn't he? Coming off. Good Lord. You hooked him, you get him off. <laughs> In Jesus. The, In the bone. Good. 
that's a bite. get us one long here. We're gonna bite like that. I'm just gonna swing him. <laughs> Got him, Steve. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Steve. Oh, be careful, careful. That, you see that? Yeah, God. look at that. He had it a long time, dude. I'm sorry. Did you see him jump on the other side of the tree? Yeah. Let's put a tag on him, would you? Should, should we measure yeah. him? Catch four and five. I think it's a keeper. Maybe not. Not. It's all 
sorry. Serious now, how did that get in? A new net. I mean, it's like the third day. Yeah, that's what I was having problems with earlier today, man. It's like it gets three or four different loops in there. Yeah, baby. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy, 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 buddy. As soon as we can get him out. Come on. Where's he? Yeah. He's hooked in the tongue. God, Mountain Dew. Have some more Mountain Dew. Do you have to go between us and there? Let's go out around? Really? 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 Run Oh. This place, 10 minutes, this would be okay. They just drove over it. It's a, kind of a deep spot. Where is it? It's this road behind us. This is a road that comes across this. So now we're on the back side of it. The maps don't have it right. You can feel it comes up. It's a ridge. I'm coming up it right now. Right there's the apex of it. We just went over. And that's about where we want to land our baits. Okay. Are you fucking kidding me? I thought they were going to check that buoy. No, they're just being dumbasses. Then he wants to flip us off, like. No, he ain't. It's the grabbiest.
bad back here. Huh? Did he keep? Ooh, he might not keep. He's 15. Is he? Man, well, that's a hard five, brother. Pump out. Bottom right. He's still on. Alright, pump her out. Turn that up, yeah. Hold it. He's still kicking, but I don't know. Couldn't before. remember. Couldn't uh, remember what we were. Twelve. Twelve. Uh, twelve. Twelve. Yeah. Twelve. Five. Yeah. I, I couldn't remember. No. <laughs> Thank you. Well, that wraps up the bass world at Truman Lake for Steve Van Zandt and myself. Well, it's a little struggly for us. It was looking like when we left at 15. The Allsaps had uh, 15 and they were leading it. So, uh, is what it is. I don't feel like we, yesterday I felt like we missed an opportunity or two. Today I'm not sure we did. It just was uh, a lot tougher, hot, very warm. So, the, the gate says 103 on my truck. And I'm not sure that's accurate, but it's probably close to 90. So, here's what it is. It's getting tough and grindy. Hey, if this is your kind of thing, smash the like button. Consider subscribing. Till next time. Thanks for watching. Joe. Hey, Joe. Following you guys around today there, boat 22. We're boat 22? Boat 22, yes, sir. There's 50. It's 100? Yes, sir. Yeah, I don't know about 22.
22 is a bad number, isn't it? Oh, that's, Why that's, is it a bad that's, number? That's, that's well, you bust. It's not 13. It's yeah. bust. Well, that's only if you gamble. Well, yeah, fish is not gambling. Of course it's not. This is sport. It's double elevens. You, you know, you got to double down. Yeah. Double, yeah. So that should be 100. That's 100. And so we're about 2-2. Two, two. About double deuce. So we're gonna go like six to three or yeah. six to two? Six, six to three. three? Yeah, it's only like seven, seven degrees, right? Yeah, no. So other than other than the rain. Other than the rain. A couple more casts and we'll go. I think we should go back around the other way. Oh! Swing him on around here. On around here. Yeah, on around here. <laughs> Tree was pretty close to the bank. Look at that, Joe. Okay, it's blue. Okay, so blue is it. Decent. 